Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, my name is Niyaz Bachan and uh, welcome back. So, uh, class 10, unit number 10 and lecture number 2. So, as we discuss about the simple harmonic motion and waves as well as the oscillatory motion. So, so today our topic is simple harmonic motion SHM. So, what is SHM? SHM means simple harmonic motion. Motion. So, as we discussed in the first lecture, that there are two conditions for the SHM. Number first, the restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement minus x, and the acceleration is directly proportional to the minus x displacement. So. In simple definition, we can say that the back and forth motion of a body about its mean position. And there are two conditions for simple harmonic motion restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement and the second one is acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement so here is, here is minus sign so why we put the minus sign with the displacement for example if we take a spring which is attached to a rigid support that is the spring for example if I pull the spring here that is mass and that is spring system. So I apply the force in this direction. Now the force is stored. If I leave the spring, so the restoring force will be in this direction and from that point, for example, if this mass reaches to this point B. So we can say that the applied, so the direction of applied force and displacement is opposite. That is why we put minus sign with the displacement. So, for example, now, for example, if we have a ball, aap koi sa plate bhi le sakte for example, humare paas ek isi tarah ka plate hai. Thik hai, aur isme hum ek ball rakte hai. Thik hai, initially ye ball jo hai, wo zero point ya O ya origin jaha se ye oscillation kar raha hai. So, ye jo is ka jo main central part hai, isko mean position kaha jata hai. Mean position wo position hota hai, jaha pe ek body rest form mein hoti hai. Is ka mardla bhe hai, ke jitne bhi forces is pe lagte hai, for example, ear resistance hai, gravity hai, any type of force. Is pe jab lagta hai, aur uska resultant, इस केस में इस पॉइंट पे जीरो के बराबर होता है अभी मैं क्या करूंगा अभी अगर मैं इसको इसी पॉइंट पे ले आओ इस बोर्ड को अगर मैं इसी पॉइंट पे ले आओ तो क्या होगा ये होगा आप पॉइंट ए फॉर एग्जांपल ये पॉइंट ए पे आ गया है तो इसमें फोर्स रिस्टोर है फोर्स किस तरह रिस्टोर है उसका इफेक्ट हम फील कर सकते हैं अगर मैं इस बोर्ड को छोड़ दूं सो बोर्ड यहां पे नहीं रुकेगी और वो यहां तक पहुंच जाएगी so, if we conclude that in this case, force is restored, then it will come here, then it will come here, and finally, it will come to the initial position. So, we call it simple harmonic motion. So, this is the first condition for satisfying that. The restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement minus x. Okay? So, we will plus and we will take minus. So, jitna ye restoring force ziyada hooga, utna ye displacement karega. For example, isko agar hum thoda sa bada kare is plate ko, aur ye hum uber ki tarap leja hai boi, to ye pir ziyada hooga, to isna matlab ye ke restoring force jitna ziyada hooga, utna hi displacement bhi humare paas ziyada hooga. Or, dousse condition mein kya hooga, jitni iski speed ziyada hooga, means acceleration. Yahan pe wo zero hooga, pir maximum ho jai, tik hai? To jitna acceleration ziyada hooga, utni hi displacement ziyada hooga. तो इसको हम कहते हैं सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन दोबारा से सुनें विद द डिफिनेशन दैट सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन इज दैट टाइप ऑफ मोशन इन व्हिच द बॉडी मूव्स बैक एंड फॉर अबाउट अ मीन पोजीशन देन देयर आर 
two conditions for simple harmonic motion. Number first, the restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement and the acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement. That is simple. And there is oscillatory motion. So now there is a question which impact in your mind that what is the difference between the oscillatory motion and simple harmonic motion. There is a main difference between the oscillatory motion and simple harmonic motion. Keep it in mind that every oscillatory, every simple harmonic motion, every SHM is oscillatory motion, but not every oscillatory motion is simple harmonic motion. Both are back and forth motion, but in simple harmonic motion there are two conditions which is given, which we already discussed. So, for example, uh, if there is ECG machine, ECG machine mein jo wo needle hota hai, wo directly proportional to the, us mein jo restoring force hota hai, wo directly proportional to the displacement nahi hota, aur us mein se, wo acceleration or displacement bhi directly proportional nahi hota hai, halanke wo bhi back and forth motion hota hai, thik hai, to wo different hai. Pher is mein ek aata hai periodic motion, ye tino jo hai, wo almost ek jaysay, hume lagte hai, magar ek jaysay nahi hai. Dekhe, oscillatory motion mein ek body back and forth motion kari ki about mean position, that's it. ठीक है, फिर सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन में भी बैक एंड फोर्थ मोशन करेगी अब आउट मीन पोजीशन बट टू कंडीशंस नंबर वन एंड नंबर टू एंड देर इस पीरियोडिक मोशन पीरियोडिक मोशन इज़ आल्सो बैक एंड फोर्थ मोशन व्हिच रिपीट इट्सेल्फ अगेन एंड अगेन बट देर इज़ अ स्पेसिफिक टाइम इंटरवल इन द पीरियोडिक मोशन Finally, a body rest form may be able to do it. Because it will not have a specific time interval. For example, periodic motion, in my opinion, the earth is moving from the sun. It is about 1 year, it is about 24 hours. So, in every 24 hours, it is about 1 round trip, or in every year, it is about its revolution. So, that is the periodic motion. It is never changed. 365 days के बजाय 360 लग जाए या 370 लग जाए या 300 लगे, so that is periodic motion, ठीक है? So have you get the point that what is simple harmonic motion, what is oscillatory motion and what is periodic motion? And there are two conditions. That is the main difference between these three types of motion. I hope you understand it better. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Stay at home.